Hello everyone. Um, today we're gonna do a J2534 um, uh, rear flashing on a Jeep Grand Cherokee. It is a 2014. All right. We replaced the, um, the PCM on this car. We got a brand new one from the dealer. We have the pin number and we have everything. All right. And I'm gonna just show you the dashboard. Look at this. You see that red light blinking? That's the immobilizer WCM wireless control module. It's not recognizing the key basically. We're gonna do all of this and uh, we're gonna get this car going. All right, guys, we're gonna start this car. Right now, if you try to start it, it will not start. Okay, so we're gonna open up our application, J2534. Okay, and by the way, guys, I'm using a card FM. So, and I'm just using Snapple. Nice. Card FM right here. All right, so we got a 2010, the car's 2014. And I'm using a uh, Kardak M. Let's see if you can get a, a successful login and connection to the device and to the caller. This uh, PCM right now has no, um, what is that? Uh, there's no win number in it right now. So uh, yeah, that's normal. So I'm gonna enter the VIN number right now, okay, guys. And then we have to uh, program the car. Uh, basically, um, we have to um, write the VIN number and afterwards. All right. All right, guys. I'm gonna write the VIN number. I'm gonna continue with you guys. Guys, um, I manually typed in the um, I manually typed in the um, VIN number. All right. So it's showing me the right vehicle right now. So I'm gonna go to topology, see what's going on with the car. You see, uh, wherever you see this Thunderbolts, basically. I should move closer. There's a uh, there's a flash for it, okay? So we're doing a PC, PCM right now. Okay. You see that with number? Doesn't show anything because this, this PCM is brand new. Okay. We're gonna do some of the routines after we're done flashing this. Our voltage is good to go because I know that um, I have, I do have a, a maintainer hooked up to the car. Let's see guys. Just gonna press this. I have read everything. And it's gonna ask me to write some notes, I think, sometimes. Oh no, it's not. That's good. So right now it's gonna start flashing the car. Down one process. Let's see. Right now it's downloading the um, the flash from the internet and it's gonna upload it to my car like M and then it's gonna uh, execute the flash. Here we go. Right now, even if I lose internet, it's not a problem. Because it's already, uh, uh, the file is already in my car like M right now. Okay guys, um, I'm gonna um, continue the video after it's done, uh, after it's done the flash processing. Guys, it's almost done, only a percent, and look at the dashboard guys, it's all blacked out. That's completely normal. Oh, camera back on, it's finishing up to, it's almost done flashing. All right, flash progress, 100%, we gotta wait. I don't know why it's not saying done yet. I'm just gonna wait guys to make sure this is over. I actually have, I could press okay right now, but I'm not sure exactly. Oh, turn the ignition off. I'm sorry guys. Look at this, let me turn the ignition off. Ignition's off. All right, press okay. Just gonna wait to do a thing. Turn it back on. All right, this is on now. 
splash process successful. Beautiful guys. Now we have three more things to do. We gotta write the um we need to write the VIN number into the car in the PCM. I'm not gonna update you, sorry. I don't wanna have any fills right now. We're gonna write the um VIN number into the car. We gotta um put the secret key into the WCM and we gotta relearn the ET ET or ECT, I forgot what it was called. And then we should be good to go and we're gonna go for a test drive. Okay. Done. That's it guys. Alright now we're gonna go to routines. We're gonna go to PCM. Let me learn the uh let me write the uh PCM uh when gonna run between VIN not valid, that's fine. Now we're gonna enter the VIN number. All right, guys. So, um, all right, so let me get the VIN number, guys. I'm gonna type it in, I'm gonna continue the video. Guys, we manually typed in the VIN number and it's gonna write it to the PCM right now, all right? Let's see if it's gonna be successful because last time I tried it, it gave me a problem. Oh, my internet is gone in the car. I'm in my laptop, I'm gonna go back in. Guys, give me a second for you this one more time. Vehicle one is valid. No, so we done one out of three. We done it. Okay. So now we're gonna do the um, learn etc. It's gonna ask us to uh, um, um, push down the uh, uh, gas pedal all the way down, and it's gonna let us. It's gonna tell us to um, release it, and it's gonna run the uh, both of the positions, all the way down and all the way up. Hold the. Accelerator pedal to the floor and press continue when it's ready. All right, let's do that. Okay, guys, I'm doing one hand, so let me try this. All right, gonna hold down the pedal. You see it right there, and I'm gonna press continue for six seconds, and it's gonna tell us to take it off. All right, now it's gonna run the other way around. All right, we're good. So now, um, actually, sorry, we have two more things left to do on this car. We're gonna fix the autometer. We have, you see, we have this. We have six, six, what is it? Let me see. 68,810 miles on the car. We gotta write this into the PCM, all right? So let's do that. Run routine. Here we go. No, it's not. Continue. We're gonna enter the um, original mileage, which is this. You see this? Sixty-eight thousand eight hundred and ten. All right. Let's do that. Sixty-eight thousand eight hundred and ten miles. All right. Is this correct? Yep. It is correct. Let's see if it's gonna succeed or not. Last time I tried it, it gave me a problem. Okay, now we're successful. Now we gotta go to WCM. Okay. Which means, where is the WCM? I don't, oh, maybe it's an RFH on this one. Sorry, guys. So, um, okay, so why is it going like this? Um, I think I might have to go to my hotel. I don't know why I don't have this. Cause sometimes you need the white tech to this process. Ignition fiber keys, okay, learn keys, door handle verification test. Oh, no, that's not our case right now.
All right, so um, so guys, okay, I'm gonna go to my hotel. I'm gonna do the um, vin I'm gonna um, do we, I'm gonna do the uh, RFH with the hotel and see what happens, guys. I'm gonna continue. The, I'm gonna continue the video once I hook up my hotel. I sure didn't have to do the um. I mean, the car just started. I don't have to do anything with the RFH or WCM, but this car has the RFH, all right? I didn't have to put a pin number, nothing like that. So um, let's see what happens. And we've read the VIN number already. I'm doing, I'm connected to my hotel right now, which is surprising, usually. Oh, perfect. So the VIN writing process was successful. And the car already started, I checked it. I'm gonna show you guys as well. Just want to read the codes and see what's going on with the car so far right now because i still have a check engine light but i did not clear any codes yet so let's see what happens diagnosis auto scan mm, no fault transmission we have but they all should be fine If you have the um, program transition, which I do, really don't want to do, but if you have to, you can do that as well. Scan the whole car. To see if the check engine light is gonna go out. But let me just see what's wrong with it. I mean, at least the PCM has no fault. It's passed. That was our mission, all right? Let's see the TCM. What's going on with the TCM? It's a transmission control module. Oh, perfect. This is gonna go just right out. Gonna raise everything right now. And this car should be good to go. Once that's no fault. Oh, drive train control module. I don't know what's wrong with that. I mean, I wasn't called out for this particular problem, but I'm gonna still check and see what's going on with it. But at least the T uh, TCM and the PCM is passed. There's no faults. So I should be good to go, actually. Gonna go for a test drive, make sure this car's running fine. Everything is passing, which is good. Oh, RFH, you have seven codes. If it clears, we're good to go. If not, then we have to do the process again. Oh, pass no fault, beautiful. So I don't have to enter that uh, pin number or nothing like that. I did the same car, I think it was 2011. I had to do that process with the WCM. So now everything passed except this one. Let me see what's the problem with this one. Oh, lost communication with ECM PCM. Oh, it's gonna go away right now. It says stored, guys. If you looked at it, it means that if you do it, it's gonna go away. I don't know why I didn't delete it when I was going to code. Let's see now. Guys, look at this. There's no fault calls in the car at all anymore. It's all passes. It all passed, okay? Let's see, stop the car. Let's see if you still have a check engine light. Just gonna, let me see. This car starts without pushing the brake pedal. No. I gotta push the brake pedal. I hate that. Let's see if there's checkers on the light and the lights are on. You shouldn't have anything on. Guys, we just did a successful um, PCM reflashing. It was a brand new um, PCM. We are good to go, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, you can leave a comment on the below. Uh, um, uh, blow the uh, video and I will be more than happy to answer you guys. Guys, enjoy the rest of your day.